Hello everyone and welcome to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. As we all know that in a few days we will be welcoming the festival of Christmas. So in this After Effects tutorial video we are going to show you that how you can create a beautiful Christmas greeting. And uh, it is very good and uh, it is a live Christmas greeting that you can see. So first of all let's preview. So let's see that how can we create it. So as you know the drill, uh, you need to go to composition and create new composition. Here you can uh, name it anything. I'm going to name it Christmas greeting. Uh, the frame rate is to be set at 30 frames per second and a duration of 5 seconds is okay. Hit okay and a new composition would be created. Next thing we are going to do is add a solid layer. So right click on the layer area, go to new and select solid. This will be our background layer so name it beachy you can take it of any color that you want or a red color if you want your background to be pure red but we are uh, taking it to be any color so we will go to effects and presets and search for an effect called gradient ramp here you will find it under generate just grab onto this effect and apply it on your bg layer you will find it that the effect has been applied like this so just change the ramp shape from the linear ramp to radial ramp Change the star of ramp to 960 by 540 and uh, then instead of the back uh, for the start color just choose a shade of red light shade of red uh, like this is all right and for instead of white choose a darker shade of red like this if you want the same colors that I'm using here is the hexadecimal value of uh, the outer color and here is the hexadecimal value of the inner color hit ok and uh, once you are happy with your background just lock it to prevent any accidents next thing we are going to do is import some of the images in our project this is the image of the santa that we have already imported now just bring it up we need to scale it up so just uh, hit on the scale property Uh, we need to animate its position move forward in time around um, 10 frames to 2 seconds and hit p on the keyboard to bring up position just keyframe it move backwards 10 frames and just change the x coordinate that's it now if we just preview it we will find that the animation for this image is created the next thing we are going to do is uh okay we have got the image of this snowflake we just need to import it onto our composition uh, for the time being we are just locking the layer of the santa and uh, turning it off now uh, we need to just make the snow particles and for that we have taken up this image of a snowflake uh, you can find it easily on google and uh, i will also share the link in the description of the image that i have downloaded so just right click on the layer area go to new and select a solid layer just name it as snow and it could be of any color it doesn't really matter at this point in time the next thing we are going to do is um, make sure that your layer is selected snow layer is selected go to effect here you will find simulation and under simulation you will find an effect called cc particle what just select it and uh, make sure that your snowflake image is turned off now once you move a little bit forward in time you will see that a particle uh, are pouring. So we need to manipulate some of the values over here to generate a good snow layer effect. Just expand the particle. Here change the particle type from line to textured disk. And uh, in the texture property just expand it and change the texture layer from none to snowflake layer. Now you can see that all of your uh, particles have changed to the snowflakes that we have taken into our image now change the birth color to pure white and change the death color to pure white as well now you will see that they have changed to a light blue color instead of white if you are happy with this color then it's okay otherwise go to your snow layer and here you will find an option of mode just select it to add 
now as soon as you do that you will find that it is a pure white snow so birth rate to around 15 and longevity to 11 and uh, now we are going to just expand this producer increase the radius x so that it covers your whole composition like this and the y radius should be increased as well if you want you can also increase the z radius a little bit uh, now we go come to physics and change the animation type to twirl change the velocity we have to decrease the value of velocity a little bit to change it to 0 0.01 the gravity must also be changed to 0 0.01 and uh, you can also just increase the value of random seed to a 50. So now what I'm going to do is uh, just go to layer and grab a new adjustment layer. Now while this adjustment layer is selected, I'm going to select a shape tool as an ellipse now double click on this ellipse you will find that a mask has been ad added into the adjustment layer now while this adjustment layer is selected hit F to bring up the feather and uh, change its value to around 300 now what we're going to do is um, go to effects and presets and search for Gaussian blur here you will find Gaussian blur just apply it over the adjustment layer and increase the value of blurriness to about 5. Now uh, you can see that the center of your screen has been blurred a little bit. Now in the mask you will find an option of inverted and as soon as you check on it you will find that uh, the sides of your composition have been blurred while the middle part is still getting the focus. Now this will help you when you are adding any kind of text or stuff like that. So it will have the focus now all these layers are okay we are just going to lock all of them but uh, before that we need to just unlock our sandal layer and make sure that its visibility is turned on now we have to move forward in time at uh, around two seconds when the santa animation is complete uh, we have to move the sandal layer just a little bit above our snow layer just type in the text so go to the text tool and uh, type in any text that you want i'm typing merry christmas now select this text and align it to the center both horizontally and vertically now if it is not visible you can just play with the colors to make it visible i'm going to change it to dark gray or black or if you want you can just go for the holiday colors and change it to a dark green hit ok and uh, this is the color that i'm happy with and uh, once you're happy with your color you can just uh, scale up your text or down as per your wish and once you are happy with your text you can also add animation to this text if you want so i'm going to do the same just expand this text layer here you will find an option of animate just go to it and uh, add an animation for scale now just move forward around 10 frames and uh, add a stopwatch or a keyframe for this scale value move uh, backward in 10 frames and set this scale to zero percent now you can just go to the first frame and uh, now we will preview that what we have created so far. So I will just go to the first frame and preview it. So now as you can see that there is a little yellow bar over here that means this animation has not been playing in real time. For this you can just change the resolution to quarter and then go to the very first frame and preview it again. Now it is playing with the actual speed and you can actually see that how your animation looks like. 
i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial keep watching programming knowledge for more after effects tutorials goodbye